daily struggle to go live is real. I got it to work. It took like 20 minutes and resetting the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> I am on. Give me a minute. I have to like do this really, really, really adeptly because I had to use like two accounts to stream now. It's really hard with Facebook constantly barraging me lately. So I'm on here. Give me a second. My phone keeps freezing too, so it's making it a little bit harder to work. Just give me a second. Can't handle the frying out energy. I try to stay really grounded for anyone that's having, um, I have really good topics too. For anyone that is um, having problems with like electronic devices, I try to stay really grounded. I used to have problems in the past where I would like blow things up with my energy, but I'm usually a very grounding energy and it's okay, but I've been channeling like so much crazy energy lately that I once again went through a couple chargers. My phone is hitting like I can only describe it as energetic capacity. People are kind of like hitting me with text messages to the point where I don't even have my phone on right now. I'm sure that's why, because it's just crashing my phone. So give me a second. If the people could stop texting me that are seeing this, Marsha just crashed my entire phone and my feed. <laughs> so just give me a sec with the text too. So go ahead and drop your name if you know our card. I have to, I want to talk about a lot today, okay? So I want to talk about this ring of fire. I call it the ring of fire. But not like the earthquakes like we're talking about, but more like an energy storm that's about to hit. And it's pretty amazing. I'm already kind of feeling out and working with those energies now. So I have a lot to talk about with that. I'm going to see if I can share. I was banned yesterday. I'm banned every day. Go ahead and share this video. I keep on getting banned. I'm already banned. I share to like two groups and I get banned. I'm trying to get a really good um, feed on here. I have some amazing energy to put out and some galactic messages. So go ahead and share this feed. I'm going to keep trying to share it. I keep trying to get blocked on the right accounts though at least. Like at least if I'm just going to get banned every time I go live, I'm going to use other accounts, not my own, to stream so that I can still post later. So I'm getting kind of adept with it. Go ahead and share this feed. Go ahead and share it for a chance to win a third eye activation. But I've been calling on everyone too because it's about time that I know people are claiming to be asleep, whatever it is. I feel that people are out of touch with who they are, even the awake people, and that we really need to get out the right energy. I like to think of myself as kind of like a little matrix hacker. I can use my feed to put it out there and reach a lot of people at once and the light workers. So I look at it as a way of hacking the grid for good that I can influence you guys and you guys are going to influence the grid because you are the grid. So it's pretty amazing. Hey Marsha, you crashed my whole feed. <laughs> I was like, hey. No, so it's really cool. We're really excited. We're excited every day. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my life because I have people coming at me and being like, you guys should not be smoking cigarettes. I'm not, but you shouldn't be smoking cigarettes over there about my roommate. You shouldn't be, I'm drinking my rock star. Definitely, it saved my life finding it in the fridge today. Like lit literally saved my life finding that in the fridge, okay. So I'm getting a lot of judgment. I'm also having people tell me, like I put a meme up, it just said fuck the police. And I had someone come down on me real hard and like, you're putting out bad vibrations, are you okay? I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm amazing like I'm amazing I've never been better and it's really crazy because I'm in the middle of these 3d timelines once again that are crumbling like you would not believe which is good for us it's good for our fight and spirituality but it's kind of hectic and crazy to be in the middle of it a lot of people are going to be in those same circumstances where everything just starts to fall in and you might feel this urge to run immediately because it's very risky I've done this before um, I've done several shifts within the past few months. So I've done this before and you can actually get trapped in these paradigms and fall down with them. So you kind of enter these realities at your own risk. We knew that coming to earth that we could very easily like forget who we were, whatever it was, and we could easily get trapped in these paradigms or these realities that were not our own. I don't know how many of you guys have the same things happening to you on loop. I watched, observed my one roommate lose his car keys and it was a big drama and about rekeying the car and whatever it was. And then literally I saw the same thing play out with my new roommate who didn't live here previously. It was like the exact same circumstance happened where she lost her car keys and now we're rekeying the car. 
So we have these realities we tend to create on pattern. And we are visiting other people's realities at the moment. We're kind of going on this shamanic journey and reaching out to people across our networks and our grids. And we're kind of going on this journey through consciousness. So it's very important to remember I'm not in my own realities because I could easily get lost in these places or cemented into them in a minute. And so begins the war on consciousness. So it's easy to get lost in these places. Um, you guys just adopted your parents' entire paradigm, no questions asked, and sort of took it on and continued it and maybe tweaked it a little. But we're still kind of in those original paradigms. And we're definitely going to be gearing up for bigger things for humanity. So I know a lot of people are really comfortable where they are. I keep telling everyone that you're going to lose everything in the blink of an eye, too. You're going to be shifting time continuums, making permanent shifts through consciousness. So you may as well just work on yourselves and yourselves energetically right now. We have the next storm. I was going to bring the calendar. I will tomorrow. Um, you'll have to excuse me. It is my Sunday. I'm used to taking Sundays off. So I'm kind of like getting into a different flow. Um, when you see me working all the time, you know, I'm getting ready to make huge moves though. So you'll have to excuse me. I'll do the calendar tomorrow, but the moon at the end of the month is in Sagittarius. It is a fire sign. We have been in Taurus. You're still feeling that earth element energy right now. And we're shifting into Gemini. We have, which is an air sign. Um, you'll notice that ever since I left my house, all of these elements have coincided perfectly with anything that I'm attempting to do. It's like, wow, my life plan must have just been lined right up with these energies. And what I'm attempting to do, because these storms are really moving me and doing huge things for me. And I already was really in sync with the energies before I left. So here I am at ground zero. And we're feeling amazing. A lot of people, my friends, are going through the same thing. People that are going to the United Kingdom with us are doing the same thing as I am. But they're dismantling their own personal life and their timelines and things like that. And one of my friends is having a really hard time with it. Because she isn't as sure with who she is as I am. She doesn't have such energetic understanding. So if you're going through this and you're not solid as a person, it could be really kind of hectic, terrifying, more, you know, more intense or whatever it is. Me and my roommate both agree that at least we have such an energetic understanding that that's how I'm able to navigate through any of this or through anything in life at this point. I left with such energetic understanding and through this process I only gained so much more and so much more about who I was so I have at least a solid energetic foundation to be attempting this and a lot of people are still working on the material and not on themselves energetically not realizing that that's where you want to start on yourself energetically because it's going to control your entire reality if you can control your energy so we are in this air element Air is about ideas, thinking. I have a million ideas a minute. It's kind of a detriment to me on this mission because I'm very unorganized with my thought process, which can be bad for manifesting. We need to be clear what our intent and what we want and things like that. So we just need to be like more aligned with it and be careful that you're not thinking too much with this air energy. Or you're only thinking about things you want to manifest. And from this point forward, I get yesterday I was like, I quit and I hate this. And I can do that anytime I feel like it. I have free will, but let's get real. I'm just, you know, eating away at my timeline, eating away at my deadline when I do that. <laughs> like, it's not really doing anything. So I get like that, that too, but I understand from this point on this morning that if I even have one negative thought, <laughs> and like one negative thought from this point forward, I could just self-sabotage myself. It will be no one else's fault but myself. So I have to just make sure that I'm only thinking positive thoughts after that lovely purge um, last night where I was like level 500 on my video. I couldn't handle it. I was just like to my roommates um, I'm just kind of going through maybe you could give me a break right now <laughs> It's just too much. I'm sorry. Maybe you could give me a break. Leave me alone for a minute So here I am we did a nice little lovely purge. We're ready to do this We have Marsha she's excited too. She's ready to get in her car and drive to California to me right now <laughs> I have to say no <laughs> No, I'm sorry. We have too much going on at the moment. She now wants to go to the United Kingdom, but she's not the only one who is hitting my inbox and feeling this pull to me. And the thing is, is that as someone who's really into proph prophecy, um, future probabilities, whatever you want to call it, I can see that everyone in our group is going to have that happen to them. And maybe my Reiki students are just a little more tuned into me. And I think that I'm supposed to help liberate our group in real ways, not this 
fake spirituality where we sit in the same realities and post about crystals <laughs> and our twin flames and whatever it is. I'm talking about a deeper liberation um, and one that's very healing for all of us. So I don't really know how everything plays out with me. I had to know <laughs> from day one that if I had enough courage to get on camera coming off of drugs, feeling like shit too. Like, I mean, I was in the hospital a bunch of times, like in between my feeds when I was coming off all the garbage. It was really great. If I had enough courage to get up here and with the hopes of others putting my story on camera, I had to know that I would end up somewhere amazing. We had to know that this isn't the end of the story and that we made our life plans and that I wasn't doing all of this work for nothing. So we just have to have a little more faith in what we're doing. I can see that, that I need a lot of space fast. <laughs> I can see that. I am under a lot of pressure. I mean, I have been for the past 12, 13 weeks since I left. What does it matter? But you can see that those that are joining me in, let me see, in increments on my journey are leveling up really fast, are leaving with such an energetic understanding that once you're around me even just chilling with me and living with me you're going to be imprinted by me permanently <laughs> so the people that have been joining me um have been leaving with such energetic understanding that they're going to go out there and crush the rest of their lives it's pretty amazing i see why you feel this pull to me i am trying to run from everyone i'm the opposite chandra wanted to come and i knew she had to and i said no i am trying to stop all of this this entire whirlwind right now i've been sitting here in this house and i I know I'm supposed to let it crumble, but I'm doing damage control. I'm trying to tape it together and fix it. And I'm doing a hell of a job if you know me. I will make it work. So I'm trying to like fix it and tape it together. <laughs> when we know that we're just getting moved very fast, you can feel that calm. Like I even feel the breeze right now. <laughs> like this calm and the storm. We're supposed to be resting right now. I looked at the calendar. I broke it down for my roommate. I can literally look at any calendar and tell you easily what's going to happen. You know, in the immediate future. It's very easy to predict these future events. That's why I would do end time news. Things like that. If you understand the energy cycles, you understand reality. So it's pretty crazy. It's intense. Marsha, we need to put out, I guess I'm putting out is seeking. I have to get a list. I'm getting a budget. I'm getting a list. I'm going to get more clear headed. I told you that I had to go through my little I quit phase. I can't do this because I really can't do this. <laughs> If you want to know the truth, I could never do this. I could have never done the things that I had to do in California. And I feel such a responsibility for any choice, and I can make so many right now. Any choice I make is going to affect everyone in our group, but especially the people who are coming with me and whose futures I'm going to impact. It's very real to me in very real ways. I think that when people can understand how their little small choices, like the little tiny things I'm choosing on a daily basis are impacting an entire group of people now. And it's very, very intense because I have to make my choices very carefully. So we're excited. Um, we don't know either. We were like, no. And then I know I have to be open. Okay. I have to just let the people come to me and just let it happen. I get that. I can be resistant though. You know that. <laughs> I'm trying to slow it down and at the same time the universe. When you pull and you create resistance, you will make it a lot harder on yourselves. You guys should know that, if anything. We're going to manifest true abundance. Yes, I have the capability to unplug several members of our soul group, but I'm ready to do it. I've passed a point of no return with what I'm doing. My plans have changed like 70 million times, but everyone who knows me knows I'm open to doing something bigger than myself. I have been. My healing mission is enough to support me and take me where I need to go. And I'm going to use that at this time to do something bigger. Um, we have an amazing group put together for the United Kingdom that we're going to take over there. I don't know if you guys are new to my feed. If you are, make sure you're sharing this to try to win a third eye activation. Um, I, hold, I hold some knowledge that I feel could be an asset for humanity at this point. I'm still learning how to put it on video and to open up to people <laughs> for trust issues on my feet. I'm working on it. But I hold things that I could be using on deeper levels. I was very upset yesterday. Like I told you guys, I was level 500 crazy, okay? So I'm talking to my roommate. And he's saying that I can manifest really good. And I can. And I'm like all depressed at this point, right? <laughs> I'm all depressed, like I quit, like if the universe really expects me to do this, are you kidding? You know, just the usual, right before I get ready to do it. And I'm like, that's my problem. 
that I came on this journey. I left my home and I came on this journey, this guided journey, and I'm visiting these people that I'm meant to be healing, activating, things like that. And I'm in these places and none of these things are random. They were all planned out a long time ago. And I brought such magic with me. I brought such abilities and knowing with me. And then after leaving on this journey, somehow I guess I leveled up really crazy. And then I got even more knowing and understanding. So I brought such things with me that I feel like it's a waste just sitting here. <laughs> like I really feel like it's just a waste sitting here manifesting rent money and all the basic shit every day. I really just feel like it's such a waste. And I brought such gifts. And not everyone can see that about me either. I found that on this journey that some of the people around me could see that. And others um, were seeing other things about me. Mary Kay. Shared to several. Amazing. I can't share you. Mary's working on her third eye of chakra. I'm going to connect with you. My phone is off. I can only get um, iMessages. I think for like another half an hour. We were just really busy to call. And um, my thing wasn't due till tomorrow. And <laughs> I keep getting fucked by the system. So I think it should be on by now. But I'll text you later. I've just been having a late day waking up this Sunday. But we're working on our third eyes. I don't know. I tell you guys. I died. <laughs> It had a lot of DMT, like the natural kind, um, flood my brain. And I I don't want to like, say it too bad. I did do uh, the synthetic kind. I was really disappointed in it. And I was checking it out. The universe showed it to me as part of my shamanic training, actually, because I had to be able to see the universe in different ways, whatever it was. But I had to be able to understand how to encode natural DMT activations through Reiki and through the energy healing that I do. I can encode energy any type of way. So I'm doing DMT activations now because anytime that we have, like, trauma, um, if you ever drank, did drugs, had any kind of stress, we have DMT released from our brains. And... With these energy encoding um, activations, you can go ahead and reactivate that DMT in a natural capacity. It's much different than any type of synthetic drugs. You want to stay away from synthetic stuff. But you can do amazing things with energy. Um, I'll go ahead and insert this right here before I do most of my cards. If you guys need me, um, I am putting out a calling. I've been putting out a galactic calling. I've been drowning over here a minute. It's no big deal. I've been drowning since day one of my mission. What's the matter? Right? <laughs> Somehow I'm staying afloat, but we're definitely drowning. We decided that even though it's so awful to say we want people to save us, we know that's bad. We'll get a reptile, right? <laughs> Brittany's dying. <laughs> That we want to be saved at this point. Maybe one of you guys can come save us. Maybe you guys can come get a reading um, and we can do a mutual energy exchange. I'll activate you, do some healing work, and you guys can mutually help save us because we're in way over our heads. There's no way we can do this without assistance. And if you guys love my feeds, it's an amazing time to support them. Maybe buy an energy healing class. Love and seeing you on here, Brittany. I'm going to be texting you. I keep getting the same cards. You guys are the healers. I'm drawing a specific group of souls to me. I'm very specific with my energy and what I'm drawing to me and what I need and what I am asking for. I only want to vibe with my soul consciousness group. I am seeking a specific group of souls. We know each other. We come here all the time. We incarnate, playing all different roles with each other, all different games with each other, whatever it is. And I've been putting out crazy vibrations and I know that we've been infiltrated. I had that witch. People tell me the witch was back trolling members of our movements we get it but i see we were talking about it today i mean like really how many people are blocked not a lot we have hundreds of thousands of people vibing and getting along and chilling and coming back to unity and very few of those intrusions so i mean it's pretty amazing so it's all light around here we're vibing we're chilling i love these daily interactions will you Brittany? just you sharing these videos i'm seeing you working so hard and you're always like well that isn't your mission yeah it is when you're going live, a lot of these readers can't share their feeds like that. I can't share my feed right now. So you're doing something huge. You're really supporting your communities, and it's amazing. Um, you have enough light to heal this whole planet on yourself, on your own. It's really crazy when we go visit other places, too. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not from this side of the country. Uh, my roommate says she doesn't know who Alex Jones is. It's like I'm in space. <laughs> It's like a totally different world I'm in already, but I'm really looking forward to going to another country. Because it'll be like something totally different. Becky, 
amazing to see you. I've been seeing your posts too. I'm loving getting everyone active. Um, I don't know. I always have people say like, you're just posting memes, but we're sharing and exchanging energy every time we have an interaction. So I'm all about mutual high vibe exchanges. Um, and that's the thing about light workers. We can really vibe off of each other, reflect, amplify, things like that. It says you're, you get a free card, wish card today. Um, it's pretty amazing. We're going to focus on manifesting with this energy. It's going to be very intense. So since we're thinking a lot, we're going to be creating with those thoughts. So focus on manifesting. Um, this fire energy is crazy. I'm already trying to play with it. I put a post up saying um, that I'm more adept with earth and water. Water's emotions. I'm really, really emotionally adept, let's just say. So I'm more comfortable in those two elements. And now we're into air and fire and if anyone sees that fire come out me it's crazy <laughs> so i'm gonna be trying to channel um air and fire lately i'm already stepping through that kind of ring of fire channeling it and playing with those energies way before anyone's feeling it and kind of practicing with it here it's a different type of creative energy you guys should be creating things melissa arvin why am i banned on um, this time just for sh every time i share my video just for sharing this feed I don't know. I have to think that maybe, I mean, I don't know. It's debatable if I am influential at this point, but I had to think that maybe one day I might be influential, more influential, Melissa Arvin, because if I could just stop getting banned off of sharing or a video or whatever it is, I would have this page um, going through the roof like it was. And because of these bans, I'm not able to even share my video. So my video ratings are like in half. I'm barely getting like the amount of views I would get. It's just, they're just pretty much in my world trying to kill my page. So it makes it a lot harder. Like when I just got banned for a month, I couldn't work. So now I'm just trying to get my site up and caught up and going again. That's why I'm like, hi, we're drowning over here. Yeah, they just keep banning us because we're freedom fighters. No other reason. But I don't even post like all those government type posts and all the stuff everyone else posts. That's why it's really over the top of me because I'm always posting like love and butterfly posters, pictures. I mean, like I was making memes all night and they were all like love posts. <laughs> so it's a little over the top with me. So Melissa, you're going to be successful in anything you're doing right now. Um, I'm putting out some really good energy to you guys. I tell you guys to drink a lot of water when you watch my feeds um, because you are kind of um, going through some energy work. You're going to be really successful in anything you want to do. I'm about to get Trisha to make like a vision board or like start cutting stuff out. We need some serious manifesting alignment, I would say. I would just say my thoughts are a little all over the place with our ideas, what we're going to do. We need a little more organization. Anyone who know, has worked with me on projects know that I'm better at other areas. And let's go to the organization type stuff. So Trisha, I remember watching this. We really need to get some like manifestation ideas down, more concrete. Because since my my vision is all over the place, because I have so much going on here with what I'm doing too and like that. And it's just keeping me out of focus. So we need to get a little more clear and aligned. So anyone manifesting right now should be making lists. Um, we're not clear enough with our objectives, not our guides, not God you're praying to or anyone else. If you need something, especially if you're on a mission, you'll be taken care of. So we need to be more clear, like Marsha, with what we need. I am seeking for another party. I'm going to have to get better at this. I suck right now. I don't know how to even say it. And I'm like, thanks for this objective universe, right? I am putting out a vibration, I suppose, a seeking for the other person in our group who is coming to the United Kingdom with us. This is someone who is definitely in my movements, definitely tunes into my videos. I have very limited intel. Um, you might be a, a awake like everyone, right? We're all awake, but you might not be that aware of the contracts that you have or that you're even supposed to go. We believe that this person might have an elemental energy, but based on um, working with this group already, most of these people would think they were from space. They probably wouldn't realize that. I have two elemental children with me. And that's what um, leads me to believe that because on some level I was just starting to work with this elemental energy and now I have these elemental kids which are totally different to me I'm used to space kids <laughs> it's a totally different um, ball game for me so I'm putting out a seeking there's another person that is going to come find me that is going to come with us to the United Kingdom um, let me see 
it was more expensive than I thought to come to California. So this person is going to have to have money to pay for their own expenses to go there. It's not that bad, actually. That's why we're doing it like that. But someone is going to come find me. I am seeking that other person to our movement that's coming with us. And I am going on a mission of healing. I'm training. I noticed a trend that a lot of the people being sent to me would be like healing students or healers that needed more training. I am healing, training the healers. So this person clearly will be a healer, but everyone is who tunes in. So we're putting out a seeking. We're going to go over there and we're going to rent a house. And we heal. <laughs> it's real easy. Mandy Beth, I'm giving you tons of that energy. That's the only purpose I go on these feeds. I have enough energy that clearly I could easily distribute it like up to 20,000 people a day. It's really crazy. I just put out energy all day like a little conductor. And it's pretty amazing. That is my gift. It's just what I do. Don't make any big plans right now. Um, I put a post up saying if you guys are tired, you might want to be detoxing with chlorella. That is a symptom of um, heavy metals weighing you down. A lot of people are having low energy. Big surprise with all the chemtrails. Um, you should consider detoxing with chlorella and vitamin B. And don't make any plans right now because I know everyone has a plan of where your life is going to head. Let's just do it, okay? So like a year from now, picture where you're going to be. Do the two-year, five-year thing. Well, I'm sorry. Your plans are beat. <laughs> there are plans for humanity that at some point are going to intervene whatever American dream template you're on or whatever life plan you're on. At some point, your plans will be intercepted. They are not going to work out ever. I'm sorry. This is just a time for humanity. So a lot of people are not understanding that, and they're working towards these kind of um, 3D type goals. And at some point, your timelines are going to merge with the rest of humanities into something better. Sorry, my feed cut it off. You want to go? I want to set. I was. I was the one who literally. I had a space where I could have set up an entire off-grid community in California. Upon um, traveling, I'm meant to go around the world. Clearly, like that won't be my only stop. I am willing to do something bigger for humanity. We are looking for people that either want to help support it through purchasing healing work. I am going to be setting up like maybe a GoFundMe for activations. We're clearly going to need to fundraise in some way. If there are people um, that have either credit cards, cash, that can assist and want to come, we're going to go do the mission of a lifetime. We're bringing together an amazing group. We're going to get a badass house over there. It actually won't be that expensive, and it's just going to be amazing. We have plans to go to Egypt, too. Um, and everyone's really just chill and laid back going. It's a real small group. And I don't know. I had to push past a lot of fears. Not something I would do is go travel ever. <laughs> It's not. I just stay home and I chill and work. If you guys know me, it's just how I am. I pretty much was in that last house like three years and barely got out of it. <laughs> it was just working all the time. So it's not my area of expertise, but when you can step outside of your comfort zone, it's going to be amazing. We're going to be dancing with fairies over there. We're going to be filming from Stonehenge and doing some of the most spiritual work ever. And I doubt the UK is ready for us, but we're all ready to go already. And we're ready to make this happen really fast. We're um, at a place where people are getting their passports and waiting on them. I already have mine. Everyone's a healer on this feed. <laughs> Manual, for sure. Not just any healers, too. I'm drawing, like... A crazy group to me it's the only thing I know how to do is use my energy like a magnet so I'm drawing certain souls to me it's pretty amazing you're working on your heart chakra amazing sync because I'm going to Stonehenge to work on that that's why I need to be in the United Kingdom I went through a lot of um, grief past life grief pain I went through crazy lessons to become this girl I am now I'll just put it that way and I'm gonna go do a lot of heart chakra based healing there because I actually do Akashic work and I do mainly past life healing so it will really fit my theme with that energy I've been checking out the ley lines all over the world anyway and it's pretty amazing um, I think this kid who's real tuned in because she doesn't know anything about me she said this will be the fifth country you've lived in <laughs> And she's pretty dead on. Like, I didn't really have time to, like, think about it and count, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty accurate. She's channeling the Akashic, too. These kids are amazing, clear channels. And with the right spiritual training, they can do greater things than us. They haven't been indoctrinated. Um, anyone in my movements knows that I say that our New Earth group sees these children as an asset to humanity and our only assets. The only asset that humanity has at this time are those in unindoctrinated minds 
So I'm gonna put out a seeking. I wanna to put together a bigger project. We wanna make this happen now. We don't wanna sit there, hear me working like a slave on my site, trying to do it the hard way. We wanna do it quicker, faster. We're gonna call on everyone to support, either sharing my content, my videos, coming to my site. You guys need it anyway. Rachel Scott, you got Alaska, good. A lot of light workers are gonna be relocated. People of service will be, because a lot of these areas are gonna be destroyed that we're sitting in. I'm getting out of this country permanently. So a lot of light workers will feel a call to be relocated, and it's gonna happen. It will be like a crazy soul pull, and I'm following that soul pull. So just follow that soul pull. Um, we have had this intuition, intuitive force guiding us our entire existences and it's time we get back to that intuition to guide us if i didn't have that killer intuition i am so tuned in to my galactic team that i work with because i've been doing this healing work for a few years now so i'm really tuned in i can get information about anything that's what's guiding me so we have to step away from and everyone around me tells me that i can't do it <laughs> i can't do it i'll die it will go bad, I just can't do it, and tries to trap me in those limits or their own limiting beliefs. So everyone around me told me I would die, I wouldn't make it, like legit, like coming here, coming there, I'll die, whatever. <laughs> so it's really important to step past all that too. Brittany Duncan, I know too much interference. I know I've been having problems streaming here, so that's why I know I'm ready to move because once I'm not able to work or stream, I get moved very fast because I actually have a really important mission. It affects a lot of you guys too energetically, whether people realize it or not. Geraldine Wigold, first time tuning in. Amazing. I try to do different times a day to get different people. If you found me, I believe it's very divine. You're working on letting go of fear with all of us. And <laughs> we're going to put it out there even more and more our experience because so many people are going to be making these shifts. As a teacher, usually I get to do the fun stuff first. <laughs> so anything I'm doing, my students should be watching and realize they're gonna have to do the same thing. Sorry to bust your illusion, but at some point you will have to step away from these illusions on deeper levels. I know you're safe in your cocoon. So you guys should be watching, working on your root chakras and letting go of fear. I'm gonna keep putting it out there, every emotional roller coaster of a day I have. I feel amazing. Today's really good energy. Who knows what kind of level 500 meltdown we'll have by the end of the day. And I'm going to put it on the wall. And I'm going to keep posting about it. And I'm going to keep putting my videos out and sharing my experiences. Because after, <laughs> when I do this, because no one thought I could make it to California. I didn't have enough money. I would die, whatever it was. And that stuff might have all been true, but I pushed past it and I did it and here I am. So when I am in the United Kingdom with my soul group, my students who I love and I am doing this and I'm in an amazing place I will inspire people to push past that fear and be like oh my god it's possible you can do it because to me this really is the impossible if you would see the objectives that we're being given it's impossible on a daily basis even when I first got to California the amount of money I had to manifest to do this it was just impossible to me so I guess we're gonna do the impossible and on camera with the hopes of inspiring people Amazing Ash, we are gonna go all over, I'm sure, just like I did California. I went all over here. I'm putting out a calling for anyone in the United Kingdom to come find me, hit me up, whatever it is. And I'm also putting out a calling for people in Central Cal Central California while we're still here. I'm getting ready to leave really shortly, but if there are people in Central California, we would love to connect with you here. The site is above Sparks of Divine Light Healing. I'm on there all the time. You guys can message the business page. I'm always here and open and willing to connect. And when I do my real readings, I do like the cards, but I also do past life readings and Akashic readings. Good morning, Asperizia. Grace Fernandez. Wisdom. You are here for a deeper wisdom and you're gonna get it on energetic levels. I didn't understand that, that I got activated on such deeper levels coming here and being activated by the fellow, my fellow shamans and light workers and being around the right people. So through watching my feed, you're going to be activated and later you'll be downloading your own information and tuning in yourself. So it's pretty amazing. Um, real knowledge is stored in your DNA. It's kind of like a flash drive or CD-ROM and that's where our real knowledge is and we, activate that through spiritual purity but the entire planet is going through a spiritual ascension which is activating your dna and this energy is either having amazing effects on your body like me i would be reverse aging and doing amazing 
And some people, the opposite is true where people will be rapid aging, um, which is pretty crazy. So just know that that kind of real wisdom is going to be through activating your DNA. We do DNA activations on our site, third eye activations, chakra openings, all that type of stuff. Um, our activations are amazing. That's how I opened that Pandora's box on myself. I started to get smart with energy and realized maybe we could be doing more than the typical chakra openings with it. And I began to do past life activations on myself and I had my fellow healer that I was working with doing them on me and it gave me back like all of my past life memories almost in a crazy way I had to do a lot of these activations but it was really crazy how it did work so we do past life activations as well I see the real Mike Caffarelli, which is amazing. I don't have my phone on. I'm a train wreck. I'm like, oh my God, I'm already level 500 meltdown. You just throw one little thing in the mix and we're like back there. So um, amazing. I need Jennifer's certificate. It was the last one that you did, like literally, but I need the date change because I, um, I had it in my other phone, but I switched devices. My other phone fell in the toilet or something. I forget. So amazing to see you. We're going to give you a card too. Mike is so service to others that in a minute he will give up his Facebook profile for me to use to stream for the good of humanity. In a minute. Just hand it over. That's how me and him were programmed. That's just where we're from and how people are where we were from. So in a minute he's here to serve humanity. We both um, spend a long time with regular jobs, working two jobs, service to serve, being service to humanity and busting our ass at our regular jobs for so long and um, it's so amazing to see those light workers that are around us supporting us because we had so many people fall away and that's amazing to us. We're kind of grounding more. You're a Pisces and it's so crazy. Like I have this Pisces kid with me, Mike, and he's like you as a kid, like completely. He's a Pisces. His head is in the clouds and you know that that sign is supposed to get me the best, but you know, he has to get used to me. I'm sure I have an intense energy for kids, whatever it is, but it's such a trip. You guys both need grounding. <laughs> the kid needs grounding, you need grounding. I have Desiree teaching him like grounding lessons and teaching him how to meditate and things like that. You really just need to ground more. You're not getting out into nature ever. That was the horrible part about living in Pennsylvania. You can think you're in nature in your yard, but like seriously, I'm ready to go home and quit. <laughs> I'm ready, you know this. I'm ready yesterday, as yesterday that if I could swing it, I would run from here. I would just run like just run in an extreme way probably like just shut off all of my pages and just disappear i really would and you know that so i'm working past that here we are <laughs> wendy capola i have too many people relying on me at this point that the universe of course isn't giving me a lot of options so wendy you're here for truth um it can be really hard i had all of my friends, all of our friends turned on us when we did this and it was pretty amazing. I'm telling my roommate that we want that. We want, we don't want fake people around us. We want the people that can handle us when we were at ground zero and doing awful. The people that had loyalty to me, I'm going to have loyalty to forever. I'll put it that way. And the people that turned on me, I saw them. I saw who they were. And when they came back and apologized, I no longer wanted that around me. Because they all did act when, oh, you're doing better. You're doing amazing. I want to be friends again and for me loyalty is everything so there's nothing like hitting rock bottom or having nothing or being broke to show you who the people are around you because I feel like like the more money you have the more power you have the more you're wrapped up in these own illusions of your mind and if you can just strip away everything to nothing that's spiritual. <laughs> you can see the people around you really easily. And for me, it felt less about what I was going through and more about the other people being tested just by interacting with me. Because I did have a lot of people removed from my path that were trying to assist or said they were. And the thing is, we never needed saved here. <laughs> we can joke about it. Yes, we really do want saved, but we clearly realize no one's going to do it. <laughs> That's sad, right? Of 50,000 light workers, if I really did need saved, trust me, no one would do it. So we would love save, but we never needed it on a deep level. None of us ever did. We know that when you get saved, it can create bigger problems. <laughs> and sometimes we give away our power as an exchange for that saving that isn't really effective. So here we are, back to one and saved. Alyssa, amazing to see you. Like I said, I'm gonna be texting you after. I'm drawn to heal the light workers like I'm doing now. I'm drawn to this feeds. I like to say this feed is my main mission and it is. 
I am drawn to hijacking and lifting up the grid every day. It makes me feel really good. By the time you guys get off here, you guys should all feel amazing and just uplifted to a little bit higher of a frequency. I know that I can't really... I can't really lift everyone up that high, but if I can manipulate my own frequency and come on feed, you guys are going to come up to my level as long as I don't get miserable like yesterday and come down. <laughs> as long as I can keep my vibe high, there's only two options. You guys are going to come up to my level. So even if I'm only helping turn up your frequency like a quarter of a decimal or whatever it is, it is having an effect. It's amazing. I'm also going to try to use my trip to wake up my fellow lightworkers. I know we've been told that we're awake, but there's just so many layers of awakening. I want to use my own energy and what I'm going through to pull people out of these spells that humanity is still under. And I know we woke up, but you just went into another layer of spell work. When you wake up, you just go through these other layers of spells and realities. I want to pull people out deeper. And I don't know, I found a way <laughs> to break through that on energetic levels. I am learning about the matrix and energy and how to do things bigger because it is a holographic reality and we hold a lot of keys to that so just know that the matrix isn't what you seems but your awakening isn't what it seems either we just have a lot more work to do and a long way to go so i'm drawn to heal it's my bliss that's what i do <laughs> and i teach sarah machino hello and it's my bliss. If you follow your bliss, the universe will align with it. I see a lot of readers who complain that they hate their jobs and things like that. And then they're not going to do good with it. If you're, it's your bliss and you're, it's your calling, you're going to do amazing with it. So I do really good with my work. Like, it's the only thing that allowed me to be able to leave or relocate at all would be my mission and what I do healing. I'm drawing people to me. I know that a lot of people that do feeds, you know, they want followers and things like that. I'm realizing how gifted each of you is. How insanely amazing your energy is. Like every person on this feed. Like I interact with you guys on these comments. On these memes. I've been around you guys a couple years now. Whatever it is. Amazing energy. I want to help assist in some way. To show you guys that. Number one. To show you guys how self-limiting everyone is. But I also want to help energetically to assist. Because you guys already have amazing awareness. So with a little bit of energy and good energy, you can really have even more awareness. Your third eye is just going to continually keep expanding. It's pretty amazing. You guys are figuring out ascension is not an overnight process. You've been on this ascension path since you were born, whether you realize it or not. People are like, oh, I just woke up two years ago. It's cool. You've been on a spiritual path the entire time. But we're getting lost. We're believing that we were these roles, once again. I am believing that I cannot do this trip because of my own limits that I was born into here, I believe. And if I go past that, if I go past this life, like if we just forget that we're even in this life for a minute, let's go back to who we were before we came here this life. And I think that's the disconnect people are having because if I even for a minute thought I couldn't do that before I got imprinted and all fucked up this life, that's crazy. I brought such energetic understanding, like I'm saying, that I could do anything. I keep telling people here that I could stop reality for the entire planet if only for a few minutes, but we can with our energy. So how can we not do these little things, these little moves, this little flight across the world, whatever it is? We become very self-limiting. We had very effective indoctrinating, though, our entire lives. It's really crazy. So just be aware of that. It's amazing to see you, Sarah. I'm connecting with you a lot, too. You're going to be coming to me. I'm not sure for what. I was explaining to my roommate that you guys come to me, and I'm not always sure why. I just kind of keep an eye out to how I could best assist. Rihanna, I can't read anyone's energy on feed. It's too crazy. I have... I don't know, I'll have at least 5,000 to 10,000 lightworkers that tune on to this feed. I have to scan you and obviously be in my space. I just do cards on these. Um, but if you guys get a shock or opening or shamanic package, I scan you and it takes a couple hours. It's very detailed and it tells you a lot about your body, your energy, and your past. So not live. You can go ahead and track me down after through my site. You're working on your throat chakra. Oh my God. And this is like... I don't even know. I'm hoping um, Dwayna will see this too. I'm going to do like a double message because she just told me she had uh, surgery. And that's so crazy because this is about truth. But it's also about purification. 
and I'm huge on detox. I have a huge, um, I have not huge. I have an amazing group, Detoxing from the Matrix. So you guys should join it if you're not in it. And it's just about detoxing. And the thing is, is that we have so much to detox for humanity, and we're seeing all these thyroid problems, throat problems, throat cancer, or whatever it is. So be aware that we're doing this collective throat purge. You guys know that last week I could barely talk. I was like coughing all over my feed because I was doing a lot of transmuting for the people in my house to get settled in and a lot of healing. So I was doing so much purification that it was detoxing my throat chakra and kind of manifesting that way. So we have a lot to detox. When you detox, you purify. I have everyone on here. Yes, don't listen. My team is finding that there are people around you that are going to try to contain you. Telling you you're crazy, you can't do this. I mean, like, they were telling me my friend was crazy. And I was like, listen, you would act crazy too to these circumstances. <laughs> you would act crazy too. Stop judging her, please. She's fine. No, she's not. But she's believing it, right? Because they're taking your power on that level. Whatever level it is. These control dramas are just like these power plays. Stop listening to everyone. A lot of the UK will be underwater. Well, a lot of California might have been underwater if all the light workers weren't here balancing the energies. It's so intense just to keep this place in balance on a daily basis. It's such work. Oh, my God. Well, in your reality, the whole UK could be underwater. In mine... <laughs> In mine, I'll have to tell you about mine. I'm going to go there with my soul group, and we're going to manifest castles and crazy stuff, and we're going to probably buy land and buy our, build our own house and whatever it is after we get there. I'm sure we'll assemble something because all the light workers are going to be drawn to us. For the knowledge that we um, hold, we actually are meant to set up places of learning. I'll be doing spiritual retreats there. So in my world, I'm going to be meditating at Stonehenge, and I'm going to be flying a lot of you guys there. I'm going to find a real cheap place people can stay and set up little retreats, and you guys can come learn yoga and Reiki and hang out with us and whatever it is. So in my reality, it's going to be amazing, just like this. Like, there are police shootings downtown and all this crazy stuff, but guess what? I'm not seeing any of that. <laughs> I'm not. We're going to go play with fairies later, and we're going to have a dance party, and we have the kids in the sprinkler or whatever. It's just not my reality. So it's very important that when you're telling people how, you know, your country will be underwater, that's your reality. That's where the disconnect is. That's why people argue. In my reality, well, we have to realize not everyone's reality is the same. And I like to keep my mind hidden. I have my own little hidden worlds. The people that are closest to me know this. I like to hide away. Like, you probably won't find me via text unless I want to find you. So, in my reality, it's going to be amazing. That was the real Mike Brittany. Yes, it's getting hard to find me live. I am disconnecting. I need my energy for more important things. If you need me, you can go ahead and purchase something to the site. I am going to get caught up on it. I wasn't on there yesterday or the day before, so I'm going to be um, hitting that site and getting caught up on it like all starting tomorrow morning. I'll be here for Akashic readings all week, so you guys should set up a reading, and I'll be getting back to you guys. I am capable of reprogramming you guys to be capable of anything, I feel. It's just my role. I am capable of unlimiting others' minds. I just have these tangible what is possible and what is not. And it's very important to remember that I can't understand what's going to happen. That when I was at the hotel and I thought it was impossible, I couldn't understand these concepts with my limiting mind. That we really can't even understand how these things are going to play out because it's going to be so crazy. We can feel it. We can feel what's going to happen, but we really have no idea. So we have to really start to realize that these things go beyond our thoughts. Leah Simpson would like to go with us. I said no. <laughs> not at this time. Um, people need to have... We're not seeking people who want to run away from their problems or things going on. We're seeking people who are on a healing path and want to heal. Um, and the right people to join us. We were looking for an even energy exchange. I'm never looking for one-sided anything. So we're looking for a mutual energy exchange. Marsha wanted to come here. It would be one-sided, and it would not be beneficial for me. It would be beneficial for her. But on the flip side, it would be bad for me. So I'm looking for mutually beneficial energetic exchanges. Um, make sure that you still are doing what you're supposed to, and be aware that you're test being tested to level up right now. I'm not sure who's going to go, how's it going to play out, or things like that. Um, but I do have specific objectives on my end. 
Good. I'm going to be sending or doing your mail stuff too. I'm on you. I know. I can't wait to go live in the UK. We're ready to go now. We just have stuff we're trying to manifest. That's crazy. Andy Beth. Moving on. We're moving on from things not serving us. And that's a lot for me lately. It's cool. I'm going through this stripping down process. That's how I came into my real power though. Like I, I know I felt powerful and whatever, but until I was kind of put in this box and kind of forced to manifest these things, I wouldn't have known I could. It's like I'm in this training program right now and it's like kind of like a video game. Well, you either level up or you die. <laughs> you either level up or you die. It's like really like the same. I like to say we're like in a virtual reality video game anyway, but it's on the same level to me where it's not optional for me to do this. And it's really crazy. You can make it easier by getting rid of these things and they're going to be people. <laughs> I know we're getting rid of the cigarettes and the coffee. How about you start getting rid of the people around you that have not been serving you for a long time that you just kind of deal with once in a while or when they text you, whatever it is. It'll just make it easier. Let's see. Katie Dowell is like... <laughs> I just light up. I see certain names around me and I light up in crazy ways and people would not understand that I've needed this support, that I couldn't have ventured out to do this without the people around me or the spiritual network around me. We're talking this morning and saying how fucked we are and we have this beautiful <laughs> spiritual network and most people don't have that. Like I'm very lucky that I have the support around me that I do. Like most people I'm saying, we're saying we just do it on their own. And that's like even crazier to me because I'm trying to do it and reach out to light workers. My Nick Kapoa, I do readings on here. I'm going to go ahead and give you a card. You should go ahead and hit my site up because like I said, we're doing amazing with our healing mission, but we do need um, to raise funds for our United Kingdom mission. We're going to relocate it there. You should set up a real Akashic reading. I do them really cheap. This is something different. I just do cards on here. You're working on your solar plexus. You're very empathic and you're taking on a lot of energies. That's where I was at when I woke up. I was almost half dead <laughs> from transmuting these energies, not taking care of my aura, cords, just simple basic things as a healer. It was my catalyst to my awakening. So make sure you're taking a lot of salt baths. You should get your cords cut. You should do a shamanic hearing or a chakra opening because you're taking on a lot of energies and it's not good to keep them in your body. You want to dissipate them. Work on your solar plexus, more baths, you should set up a real reading because um, obviously I do them on the phone or Facebook chat or whatever it is you want to do it. And I have like an entire space to just go in your cash. It's very hard to focus on one person's energy. So I kind of am doing like a group kind of reading with these. So it's a lot different. You should definitely check out our site. Adri Elena Romo, Romeo, sorry, I'm awful with names. We're transforming and it's pretty amazing. Um, I'm going through this crazy journey. Like if you can even see from when I left, like our eyes are just, the light content is just amplifying so much. And I read eyes, I do eye readings. Like I can look at your eyes and tell you where you are in the spiritual hierarchy even. So it's pretty amazing to me because your eyes are a fingerprint to your soul and they're a reflection of it. So sometimes people have some pretty amazing eyes or they say that like Zuckerberg, the AI has dead eyes. I'm sure no light AI, no life. So you'll see that people as they change and they do this soul growth, your eyes are changing. So you can just see that our energy is changing so fast. Our eyes are changing so fast and we're leveling up so fast. You're transforming. I'm trying to learn how to fly right now and it's hard as fuck. <laughs> I probably had those wings a while and I'm just learning how to fly and if we can't do it on our own the universe is gonna push you out there like me I wouldn't do it on my own I would never do anything on my own are you kidding Taurus so the universe will make me so we can just make it easier on ourselves by getting rid of the things not serving us Jessica Elizabeth, amazing to see you. I'm trying to stay on a minute. I haven't been on for a minute. I'm going to start hitting these feeds all crazy though. So don't worry. You guys will be seeing a ton of me now. You're suffering in silence. You're deeply connected to those around you. You have powerful allies around you all the time. We need to be more specific with the assistance that we're seeking. We need to be doubling and tripling our manifestations. We're sitting here manifesting stupid prison planet shit all day long when we could be manifesting things that could be assisting humanity or ourselves. So 
just be aware that you're deeply connected. I can feel you in crazy ways. Someone says, I love my blue hair. That means I need to put more green in it immediately. <laughs> it turns blue. Yuck. Let's see. Tim Brewington. Um, if you see me as amazing, that's amazing because I have people that see all different things in me. And we know how reality works. Like, it depends on, I guess, how you see yourself, right? Because I think you're amazing, too. I guess everyone isn't at that place with themselves, but we'll await them here. I'm drawing those that are. I'm manifesting bliss. I'm in nirvana. I'm happy. I have a job I love. I can go anywhere on the planet, and I just might. <laughs> Scary, but, I mean, that's liberating. I don't have, and I haven't had any bad karma or karma tying me here. We all know we should be liberated from that, but I did something deeper. And I left my entire paradigm and all of the energy I was feeding it. And in doing that, I got my real power back. And it's pretty intense and amazing, but just be known that this is a new beginning. It feels like the end for me. It feels like game over for us yesterday. <laughs> it feels like game over. Eh, sorry. But you know that we're not going out like that and that we planned all these encounters long ago. I put a meme up and I said that we created these dragons so that we could slay them ourselves. But this is like a dream, we really did. We created these illusions a long time ago and here we are. Yeah, I don't see all the comments. Sharina Curry. Well, you don't stick out because Facebook's assholes, and I don't even see half the comments till later, so it's nothing that you guys are doing. Just comment. Um, I'm trying to pick different people. I'm going to start to go live more. There are thousands of people that see these feeds. Um, my suggestion is, you guys, I do $20 card readings, like the three-card ones. I do so many cheap options. You guys, if you want a card, should go spend $20. You can support my mission if everyone would go get, like, a little purchase on my site we could easily move this mission forward in a really big way and it's something that will impact you too because when I do go across the country across the world it's going to impact you energetically being able to watch a lot of people can't travel and can't go do this spiritual work and it's going to be kind of amazing for people to view it through me so if everyone who didn't get a card would just like purchase something it would really come together fast it's nothing you're doing Facebook is just super annoying where they won't even show your posts if you pay them now like you know how they are so, Sharina, you have amazing energy, amazing vibrations. Like I said, I'm drawing very amazing people to me. Um, don't let your own perceptions talk you into anything else. And you have love coming. This is the angle for me and everyone. I don't care in what capacity. Um, you have to know that love is all that's real here. So there's a lot of illusion because there's a lot that isn't love. And I was going to say it too, like, love is not something that burns out. <laughs> I know that with these 3D systems, people really believe that. Real love is not going to burn out or die ever. It's an energy. So I think people are getting confused with what love is in the first place with these kind of 3D relationships, but you're here to manifest an energetic type of love that's uplifting to your consciousness group and healing to it. Just be aware. Yeah, the real Mike is on here. He hasn't been on Facebook for a while. I'm streaming from his profile. I keep on trying to say that I do need it. For some of the things I d I'm doing, but I'm not like on there commenting. Sarah hasn't smoked White Widow in forever. You guys can go ahead and inbox me for weed too. Because <laughs> I'm trying to sell weed and Reiki real fast. Definitely hit me up. I'm definitely speaking a lot of people's language. And definitely, I don't know, I like Aries too. I have some loyal Aries, Taurus, top loyal signs. I would say my Scorpio, um... A min is pretty loyal too. There are a few signs that can be very loyal. I'm trying to read through the comments. It's all, see, I'm only seeing everyone I already read too. Jennifer Harvey. We're going to withdraw. I want to withdraw so bad, like yesterday. Like, I'm just, I told you, I quit. <laughs> no one can find me. No one can find me all day. Like, I'm hiding out. I was making memes for like 12 hours. You know I don't have time to do that for real. That will never happen again. <laughs> I was playing around making memes. I flooded Facebook. It was fun. But here I am. I'm back at work. So, I feel like we're drawing. I feel like doing the opposite. I need to be on video. I need to connect with all of you. This is something that we contracted to do together, clearly, as a group. 
and I need to be connecting more and more. So I feel like doing the opposite. I feel like just unplugging, not going live and just hiding out or whatever it is. But I have to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So if you guys can spend more time meditating, download, recharging, but also be aware that we need to connect. That there are forces clearly trying to divide humanity. Because in coming together, we're powerful. We can find our other aspects. And when certain groups come together behind the scenes, it's very powerful. So there are forces that are seeking to divide us. Be aware that we need to connect more. We need to open up more. We need to be aware that people are having bad days like yesterday. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> I was like level 500 on any post. Like someone even said like the smallest thing to me. I was like ban this person. <laughs> like, like so I get it. But we need to be aware that people have their bad days and their moments and their movements. I'm not saying that people shouldn't discern upon about discern between entities attacking people in our movements or the people having a bad day. Though. So those people legit have a bad day. We need to be a little more delicate with people and we need to seek unity Melissa Arvin oh lonely oh my god I'm never lonely I would trade with you in a minute I wish I was lonely back in my bed chilling by myself <laughs> oh my god well seek yourself and you'll never be lonely <sighs> well You have so much help and assistance and people and love around you in crazy ways. A lot of times, we, oh, I see this squirrel over here. It's so cute. It's like an intro me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not used to nature where I'm from. So we have so much help around us. Uh, I doubt you guys could even see all the love you're getting on energetic and basic levels on a daily basis. It's just so crazy to me because I spend a lot of time assisting people behind the scenes and it's pretty crazy. So just be aware of that. And I know you're bored. Anyone who's bored um, should get like a birth chart, should get a reading. You guys just are not on your mission if you're bored. I was so bored like most of my life. Like I was always bored. I had to have people around me. Whatever it is, if you're on your soul mission, it will not do it. Michael. <laughs> Shout out to Michael who can see me. <laughs> I feel like people cannot see me. And I came clearly just to go with the flow and to learn the universe and to play with energy and just roll through here. And I came and I brought things for everyone here. I just know it, okay? Like how he gave me like a thing for my phone. He has some things for me. I have some things for him. It's a mutual exchange. So I came here to do some mutual exchanges with people and some people just could not see me. I guess they just had too much of their own illusion. They claimed to see me, but they clearly could not see me. Um, we have to be careful that nothing is cutting us off from the flow. And like I'm always saying, I feel out of the flow. I, I have like, my phone's probably off. I don't know, Mike, is my phone ever coming back on? I'm too busy to even check. And they turned it off a day early. Like it wasn't even due till tomorrow because I'm so neurotic. So like any little thing you just add and it feels like I'm getting taken out of the flow. Like I couldn't stream. My videos keep getting shut off. I keep getting blocked. It feels like I'm not in the flow. I keep getting banned. So I feel like I'm getting cut off from the flow or disruptive. But I'm going to tell you something. I saw 144 comments on my phone at least 10 times in one night, two nights ago. What? Like, and every time I hit it, it will reset the number. This morning, I'm seeing that number. I'm seeing it everywhere, like 10 times a day in the past 72 hours, which have been really crazy intense for us. I'm seeing these number codes and synchronicities and magic everywhere. So while I'm seeing everything fall in and crumble, I'm seeing the magic everywhere. And it's very important to realize that you are on the right path. We can't be off of our path. We can't make bad choices or wrong choices ever. Everything was meticulously planned out. And so sometimes when you're going through the most destruction, you're just actually um, going through some type of like rebirthing. It's pretty amazing. Just be aware of that we're more in the flow than we've ever been. It might feel like, you know, we're going through so much, but we're actually going through so much energetically on the same time. So amazing things are happening. You have an amazing energy. I definitely want to do Akashic work. You guys are seeing my Akashic work with my memes everywhere. I like to just chill in the cache and pull, pull, pull information. I was throwing them on memes for fun last night. <laughs> I was throwing some Akashic information on memes just for fun. It's what I do. That's why I crave so much solitude because I enjoy... I enjoy working with those energies while I'm alone in my everyday life. I like pretty much just play in the Akash. Um, just when I'm alone chilling so it's pretty amazing energy I love it 
I definitely got a different level of Akashic access though after leaving um, and doing that Ground Zero Hotel. And I could have left too. I could have quit like Vanessa and gone home. It was very hard for me too, but I didn't. And I think that the more I push past this and stay, the more I'm just leveling up fast. I've set aside everything in my life except for that desire to serve and heal. And that's pretty powerful. Stacy Code. I know, I was like, can you guys send me love and light today? I'm not used to working on Sundays, but I'm going to do it. We have so many obstacles and challenges, and we created them all so long ago. And we could be living in these crazy dream-like realities. It's pretty amazing. Just be aware, I'm trying to unlimit these blocks and to remove these illusions for you guys. The more I'm around you guys and the more real I am. I don't think people are used to being authentic or real anymore. You ever have those like 3D conversations about like the Kardashians? <laughs> or like 3D relationships? <laughs> football, whatever people talk about. You ever have those really fake conversations like at your job? Like someone you have no interest in talking to you probably too, right? Like you go to your job or something and there's like that low vibe person who's just like telling you about their like date night or whatever it is. Yeah, that's the illusion. I feel like that's the illusion they're talking about. So if you're talking about real things like my life crumbling in, me in crisis over here not be able to handle my mission moving to the uk whatever it is i'm putting on camera i'm being authentic and i'm being real and i've seen on energetic levels i've been shown what it does to my energy field when i'm open and real and authentic and it really is opening my heart chakra my energy field to you guys and it's allowing me to activate you guys so we have to be more open and willing to connect to i'm gonna do like two more cards and get off here i am trying to uplift you guys i'm feeling amazing like at ground zero, completely fucked. <laughs> I'm feeling amazing energetically. I couldn't feel better every day as I'm waking up in this. Peggy Trip, amazing. You're gonna be really successful in anything that you're doing right now. The people that have been watching my feeds for a year, a couple of years, have changed so much and so dramatically energetically that these are powerful seeds I'm planting. And you might not understand everything I'm saying to you, but they are affecting your consciousness and they are going to help expand and activate it. Let's see. Betty, um, Jennifer Simpson. Um, sorry, detoxing from the matrix. And if you go on this page, there's a link to all the groups like below, like our, my two favorite groups now besides New Earth are the detoxing from the matrix group and our anti-human trafficking group. And the links are like right on here under groups. It's pretty amazing. I build spiritual networks with my friends. We like to build these networks and to run them and things like that. So I'm really involved with a lot of the spiritual communities on Facebook. And Andrew Rain, amazing you're in the UK. Crop circles, hell yeah. I have my own um, extraterrestrial experiences. I could be telling you guys, I just haven't yet. And it's pretty amazing. A lot of you guys know I work intergalactically actually. And I do work for a council. I don't like to go into detail and give away too much. But um, it's pretty amazing. I am a galactic channel. This information is not my own. It is coming from space. It's pretty amazing. So I have my own experiences. I was taken to Mount Shasta so that I could receive energetic downloads and more information for the healing work I do. And it was really profound and intense. And I figured out I had to I had to go meditate for like four hours several different times on a lot of these spiritual places. But it was just so powerful to go through and to receive all of this information. It was like, I don't know, it was like I just got like a CD-ROM downloaded really fast. And it was so crazy, the information that I got that I can use for my healing mission. It was just really intense, really insane. And I know that now after going through that, and being upgraded and having those experience that the same thing will happen that I believe we held we hid energetic clues through this reality information access points where we could download information that we could use to assist humanity with our healing work things that we could hide in the matrix that we could kind of smuggle it in and keep it in places so my next destination is Stonehenge I'm going back to Egypt I was there when I was younger when I lived in the Middle East but I'm going to go back with my group to visit and we're going to be doing some powerful retreats and meditations um, I'm going to let you guys go on that note because I do have a crazy day but I want to see you guys on my site I want to see you guys messaging me inboxing me whatever it is I can't do this on my own and um, I don't know you guys know I worked really hard with another job doing these feeds building my site up and I've really put my all into these feeds um, so right now is time that you guys could 
really support us to actually make change. I know people think I can't do anything. Actually, you guys can. Um, just by getting like a purchase activation caught up on your Reiki classes, you guys can move this along really fast for me. So I, this is something I can't do on my own once again. I'm going to need everyone's support. Um, definitely hit me up, find me, and I'll be live again tomorrow. Love and light. <laughs>